Let's calculate stability factors for collector feedback biasing. In the last lecture, we obtained stability factors for emitter bias circuit. For emitter bias circuit, in this case, we have collector feedback biasing. You can see feedback in this circuit, and this feedback is positive feedback. And if you introduce emitter resistance, if you introduce emitter resistance R E then because of this resistance we have negative feedback so in the last lecture we obtained the stability factors in which we had negative feedback because of emitter resistance re and in this lecture we obtain the stability factors for the biasing scheme in which there is positive feedback and if you want both positive and negative feedback then you have to introduce resistance re in this circuit i will start with step number 1 in step number 1 we need to obtain the expression of the base current IB by applying KVL in the input loop. So we have VCC, VCC minus IC plus IB RC drop across this resistance. Current through this resistance is equal to IC plus IB. You can easily calculate the current by applying KVL at this node minus IB RB minus VBE equal to 0 and let's say this equation is equation number 1 I will take IB common from these two terms so we have VCC minus IB inside the bracket RB plus RC minus VBE minus IC RC equal to 0 and if you compare this equation with the equation obtained in case of emitter bias configuration you will find there is difference of RC in place of RC we had resistance RE in emitter bias configuration now we can easily obtain the expression of base current IB base current IB is equal to VCC minus VBE minus IC RC divided by RB plus RC so we are done with step number one in step number two we have to find out the collector current IC in step number two we will find the collector current IC by using IC equal to beta times IB plus beta plus one ICBO so IC is equal to beta times VCC minus VBE minus ICRC divided by resistance RB plus resistance RC plus beta plus 1 ICBO and let's say this equation is equation number 2 and if you compare this equation with the equation obtained in case of emitter bias configuration you will find in place of RC in place of RC we had resistance RE here also we had resistance RE so this is the only difference between the emitter bias configuration and collector feedback biasing and because of this it is very obvious that in case of collector feedback biasing the obtained result will be similar to the emitter feedback biasing the only difference is the resistance RC so if we move to step number 3 in which we have to differentiate the equation number 2 with respect to IC keeping beta and VBE constant so this is what we need to do in step number 3 I will not perform the differentiation because you know how to differentiate the equation number 2 with respect to IC keeping beta and VBE constant I will directly write down the expression of a stability factor as beta plus 1 beta plus 1 RB plus RC divided by resistance RB plus beta plus 1 resistance RC so this is the expression for stability factor in case of collector feedback biasing and if I compare the expression of a stability factor 
obtained in case of emitter bias configuration then s is equal to beta plus 1 resistance rb in place of resistance rc we will have resistance re divided by resistance rb plus beta plus 1 resistance re so if you remember the expression of a stability factor in case of emitter bias configuration then you can also obtain the expression of a stability factor for collector feedback biasing by just replacing the resistance re with the resistance rc so try to remember this expression only now we will move to the calculation of s prime s prime is equal to small change in collector current with respect to the input voltage vbe when i cbo and beta are constant they are constant and as we have time we will find out s prime and for this purpose we have to differentiate the equation number two with respect to ic we will differentiate it with respect to ic keeping beta beta and icbo constant so let's see what we have dic by dic on the left hand side then we have beta divided by rb plus rc then integration of vcc with respect to ic minus vbe with respect to ic after this we will differentiate ic rc with respect to ic and you can clearly see beta plus 1 is constant and icbo is also constant in the calculation of s prime so this whole term is constant and differentiation of constant term is equal to zero so we have zero here in the next step we will have one on the left hand side then beta divided by rb plus rc differentiation of vcc is zero because this is constant term biasing voltage vbe is not constant so we have differentiation of vbe with respect to ic minus we have rc then differentiation of ic with respect to ic rc is constant so finally we have one equal to beta divided by rb plus rc minus one by s prime because s prime is equal to dic by dvbe so dvbe by dic is equal to one by s prime minus rc because dic by dic is equal to one and when you simplify this you will have s prime equal to minus beta is the numerator and the denominator is rb plus beta plus one rc so this is the expression of s prime in case of in case of collector feedback biasing and if you compare the expression of s prime in case of emitter biasing then you have minus beta in the numerator and in denominator you have rb plus beta plus 1 re so again there is difference of rc if you compare the expression of s prime in case of emitter bias configuration so if you remember only this expression you can easily obtain this expression by replacing re with rc so this is all for this lecture see you in the next one